Good evening. It's September 3rd, 2023. Happy Labor Day weekend. And today is National Stefan Day. Uh, happy National Stefan Day to all the Stefans, uh, Stephen, Steves, or close to their names. Close to that name. Lord, we pray that you bless all the Stevens out there. Stefans. Stefan, Stevie, Stevie Ro, Stevie Ro, Stevie. And uh, I decided to look up Bible verses on Stefan. As if you are a Bible reader, you recognize Stefan from the book of Acts. So um, that is one of, I'm going to read Acts chapter 6. And you can also read Acts 7 later too. Um, and it's one of many Bible chapter or verses on Stephen. Feel free to explore the other parts of the Bible if there's other Stephens out there that is mentioned. Um, so today I'll read from Acts chapter 6. And I did a post on disciples Stephen or Stephen earlier today. Feel free to check that out, and I'll put the link below this link, or below this uh, video. All right, Acts chapter 6, the choosing of the seven. In those days, when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews, because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn the responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased Rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. The last section theme of Acts chapter 6 is Stephen sees. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. Opposition rode, rose, however, from members of the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Jews of Cyrene and Alexandria, as well as the provinces of Cilicia and Asia, who began to argue with Stephen, but they could not stand up against the wisdom the Spirit gave him as he spoke. Then they secretly persuaded some men to say, We have heard Stephen speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. So they stirred up the people and the elders and the teachers of the law. They seized Stephen and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They produced false witnesses who testified, This fellow never stopped speaking against a holy place and against the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this pal place and change the customs Moses handed down to us. All who were sitting in the Sanhedrin looked intently at, at Stephen, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. And that's verse 15 in the book of Acts chapter 6. One of many Bible verses on a theme of Stephen. Happy National Stephen Day, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Lord, we pray for all the Stevens and Stephens, Steves out there. In Jesus' name, bless them. May they come to a growing personal relationship with you. And also non-Stevens. In Jesus' name, amen. Koramatara, shalomatara.